Cockade was very slow. To Time. From the inside, too little time, missed it by more than a length, and Arathia bounced out in front, commencing very well with Strawberry Blonde. Quick sticks in the third posse from Acapulco, Storm and Runs on Dreams. A length to Avoir L, and then Helvalin, followed by Holy Honey, beaten for speed. Two lengths in to Miss Blue Cow, followed by Too Little Time, Sky Kiss and Magic Ruby's last. At the 700 marker, and Strawberry Blonde is just the leader, but wide out from Quick Sticks, and then comes Arathia, Runs on Dreams, holding the inside, and then a gap to Holy Holly Honey parked on the inside of Acapulco Storm. A length gap then to on the outside Avoir L from Helvalin and a further three lengths, too little time. And then comes Miss Blue Cow and the last pair of Magic Ruby and Company with Sky Kiss homeward bound. And the newcomer Strawberry Blonde with a white face straightens up a half Arathia. Runs on dreams on the inside. Holly Honey looking for the way through. Then Acapulco Storm, Quick Sticks, Helvalin and Avoir L. But Arathia runs to runs on dreams. Strawberry Blonde gave in meekly and then Acapulco Storm runs on dreams, cutting down Arathia, who won't give in a dead set to horse war. Arathia, a nose in front of runs on dreams, coming again. Runs on dreams, and Arathia and runs on dreams got up to beat Arathia. Reckon Helvalin might have got third wide out on the track. Battling on was Acapulco Storm, and Holy Honey nearer to the inside from Magic Ruby. A good gap to Quick Sticks, Avoir L, and then came Miss Blue Car. Sky Kiss, Too Little Time, and Strawberry Blonde weakened out of it to finish last. Two runs on dreams to pay for the win five dollars sixty the place one dollar sixty number four Arathia two dollars even and nine Helvalin called for third two dollars even back to Ian in just a moment race number one on the program at the Gold Coast only a couple of minutes away one amplified six fifty two ten in favourite two Evergreen Terrace twenty three five three Hysterical Boss eight forty three thirty four Tornado Prince seven fifty two twenty five Maltese Papia sixteen and five. Pretty good line to the jumpers and one of the first out here is our Look liaison ahead. with quickly cool groom going up towards the front although he wants to fight the rider early from Big Zap and Sea Biscuit. First of 19 fences coming up our liaison from Big Zap and cool groom. Sea Biscuit fourth early. Cool groom still inclined to get his head up over the second. Our liaison didn't handle it well for the back just dynamite and leading bounty as they complete the three along the back. Then booster hooves three lengths to Bush Star from Yo Yo Joe. Welcome shower and two to our Johnny last of all. They've gone over the the abattoirs treble and coming down the next three fences and sea biscuit the gray took it up now and moved out by three lengths to big zap and cool groom up running third two lengths to our liaison they're followed by booster hooves and leading bounty just dynamite just behind those two or three to welcome share as they go to the next fence they're followed by bush star yo yo joe and five last of all to our johnny coming down towards the top circle well over a lap to go and the leader sea biscuit coming to this next fence about two and a half in front of cool groom here they come to it sea biscuit jumped at about two in front of cool groom two to big zap is now getting a little closer on the inside a length and a half our liaison then leading bounty from just dynamite booster who's bush star further back in the race then came welcome shower yo yo joe and four or five to our johnny here's the one out on the outside right at the 400 meter mark and cool groom making good ground just dynamite hit that one hard and it's sea biscuit up on the outside a half in front of cool groom back to the inner as they go over that one two lengths further back big zap third they're followed by just behind those our liaison fourth followed by leading bounty then came just dynamite welcome shower about five off the front two to boost to hooves the inside of it then came bush star two lengths to yo yo joe and eight last of all to our johnny down towards the judge now and they've got a lap to go and it's sea biscuit on the outside a half in front of the favorite cool groom and they're about four lengths in front of big zap and a half hour liaison then welcome shower followed by just dynamite leading bounty back in the middle boost to hooves tracking deeper length into bush star one to yo yo joe eight lengths to our johnny last of all
Going out to the three up the river side, and it's still on the outside, Seabiscuit. On the inside of him, Cool Green, there's about a neck between them. Four lengths to Big Zap ahead the outside, then came our liaison. Welcome Showers moved up fifth the outside as they come to the first to three up at the river side of the 1800 metre mark. Cool Green with a good leap over that one. Went up now to head Seabiscuit, a length and a half to Big Zap. Here's the next fence coming up, Cool Groom, and on the outside, Seabiscuit the Grey. They're together as they come to this fence, and Cool Groom jumped it well. Three quarters, Seabiscuit, a length. Big Zap, four lengths just dynamite, three quarters our liaison. Welcome Shower tracking deep, followed the inside by leading bounty. They're followed for the back by Bush Star, Yo Yo Joe. Two lengths for the back, then came uh, Booster Hooves and four to our Johnny last of all. Heading out towards the steeper lane again, 1400 to go. The favourite takes over now in the chase, and it's Cool Groom by two. Sea Biscuit on the outside of Big Zap, a length and a half leading bounty up fourth. Welcome Shower still deep on the outside of Just Dynamite. Our liaison back in the middle as they go out to the steeper lane, then Bush Star, Yo Yo Joe, Booster Hoos as that uh, field starts to bunch, and two to our Johnny starting to tack on. First of three along the back at uh, the Chiquita Lodge treble, and he jumped it well, Cool Groom a length in front of Big Zap, who jumped it just as well. Went up on the outside, Big Zap to join Cool Groom, and over that and he jumped it brilliantly, Big Zap, and he's taken the lead and put two or three lengths on Cool Groom. Two then to Welcome Shower, a couple of lengths leading Bounty, then Booster Hoos and a gap to Yo Yo Joe, Bush Star, Just Dynamite, and our Johnny but Big Zap has kicked away coming down the side. Five fences out, jumped it well. Four lengths to Cool Groom. Two lengths further back, Welcome Shower. Booster Hoos is down over that next fence and Big Zap has gone for home about four lengths in front of Cool Groom. Now he's gone five lengths to Cool Groom. Three to Welcome Shower. About four further back then leading bounty along Gap, Bush Star and Yo-Yo Joe. Third last coming up, Big Zap stood over it nicely about three in front of Cool Groom. Three lengths, Welcome Shower followed on the inside by leading bounty running on. Two fences to go here in the crisp. Out to the outside lane they come and the leader Big Zap about three in front of Cool Groom as they come to the second last. Here he comes to it Big Zap. Jumped it well. Four lengths Cool Groom. Two to leading Bounty. Then a gap to Welcome Shower and Bush Star and further back Yo-Yo Joe. Big Zap going well. Jumped the last well. He landed six in front of Cool Groom and leading Bounty. The race is over. Big Zap he's a mile out in front. Cool Groom's getting tired and leading Bounty's got up to him for second. Big, Z Big Zap at the 150. Uh, he's a well out in front, oh, he's about seven or eight in front, and he's going to canter down to the line and win the chase very easily. Big zap at the judge. He wins it about uh, five and a half to six lengths to leading bounty, three quarters cool groom. A long gap there, fourth. Bush Star just got it from our Johnny. They were pretty keen. Further back in the race then came Welcome Shower, Yo Yo Joe, Just Dynamite, and two that have pulled up and not completed the course are our liaison and Sea Biscuit. Now two big uh, zap to pay 46.50 and 10.10. Number three leading bounty 3.35. Cool groom, a dollar 30. Number two big zap 54 even at 8.50. Three leading bounty 2.50 and five. Cool groom 1.40. dollar 40. Correct weight at the Gold Coast on 12.10 three in the first there. Half head three and three quarters. Those missing margins Sydney. Race number one Brisbane today. We haven't really had a chance to uh, get to the Brisbane sheets as yet apart from giving you that late mail for Ipswich, repeating it's fine and good there, and Wayne Wilson is our caller for uh, the big day up there at Ipswich today. In the first, you... And the best to break the line was Durham, commencing well, Gamesman, and the same for Falsham Street. Not far away as they settled, Fearless Fred, and then Ferrara, Sin City, Fantastic second last, and a length further off Turnpike. It's Durham leading as they settle fully into stride, a bit more than a length now on Gamesman. Fearless Fred between on the inside, Falsham Street, reefing for rain on the outside, Sin City. Then Ferrara, Fantastic is second last, and close up on the outside is Turnpike as they work their way to the 600 mark and Durham lopes along. Three quarters to a length clear on the favourite gamesman on the inside, Falsham Street. And then Fearless Fred followed a length further away by Sin City, covering a little bit of ground. The inside Ferrara, Turnpike next to last and fantastic. The newcomer whips them in. Homeward bound on the John Size train. Durham straightens up more than a length on gamesman. He's under a little bit of pressure at the moment. Gamesman to go after this leader. Fearless Fred is battling on. And then Falsham Street and two lengths to Sin City. 200 to go. And Durham the leader. Fearless Fred on the outside and Gamesman trying to bridge the gap. Three in line. Fearless Fred and Gamesman grab on the inside. Durham. Gamesman. Fearless Fred. Fearless Fred the outside. Gamesman. Always oh, another ripper. Fearless Fred. Gamesman. Gamesman. Fearless Fred. Hit it locked together. 
Third posse to Durham, then Falsham Street, followed home then by Thuntastic Ferrara Turnpike and the last Sin City. Another one. They just come with monotonous regularity, these tight finishers nowadays. And uh, these two horses over the concluding stages, Gamesman and Fearless Fred got away from Durham. On the Super Tab, if two Gamesman gets it, 2.41.20, four Fearless Fred, 8.32.10, and for third, uh, Ian called five, Durham at 2.40. The number in just a matter of moments. Gamesman's nose going down on the line, and number two has been able to score here, Gamesman, written by Brad Stewart. Number two, Gamesman, written by B. Stewart is first at 2.60 and 1.20. Number four, Fearless Fred, written by C. Brown, second, has paid 2.20. And number five, Durham L. Beasley, third at $2.10. Quinella, $10.80, exact $17.60, and the trifecta, $91.60. Gamesman, trained by uh, Jack Denham for R and K. Geddes, P. L. Richardson, A. Gilbert, G. O. Farrell, T. Graham, and J. N. Allen by Eagle Eyed from No Finer. And uh, he's a half brother to the very good Galloper Pins. And Gamesman now putting two on the trot. Yeah, and that uh, sire. away okay the stable mate crown council first out major coast. breakthrough behind those they beat off barossa scholar in the early point and further out here zero drama showing good speed traveling forward wider out on the track is moderated from peninsula lord and beltrice is back behind them settling down coming up towards the 850 meter mark and broken love has gone up on the outside of crown council the stable mate three quarters further out making a line of three now and climb to over race is zero drama barossa scholar behind them outside of then major breakthrough further out out on the track then came a moderator followed out wider by Peninsula Lord and back last of all is Beltrice but only about five lengths covering them. Out of the course proper now at the 550 metre mark Zero Drama three out, Broken Love the middle Crown Council on the fence but under pressure. They got two and a half to major breakthrough, Barossa Scholar and moderator then Peninsula Lord down the middle Beltrice last of all, Broken Love and Zero Drama down at the 300 metre mark from Crown Council fighting back then major breakthrough on the outside and further out Peninsula Lord, there's a few chances here. Broken Love's gone. Major breakthroughs hit the front in the middle. Got it set in front of Crown Council and Zero Drama, Peninsula Lord and Major Breakthrough. Major Breakthroughs wanted about a neck to either Peninsula Lord or Zero Drama. Close up Crown Council inside them. It was King Obron and getting through was malfunction. Great race coming up here. Lucky Omen and bless us all. 200 metres to go in front. Fighting back was Quiller's Glory on the fence. Quiller's Glory, Lucky Omen, Quiller's Glory. Quiller's Glory took the shortcut. Overlin. Now Princess Gazelle, not that does the trick. And Jabali and Boldolero waiting. And they're off. And Simmering Simon jumped out pretty well, but the early leader is Boldolero. He's got a lot of natural speed and will lead clearly on Settling and past the 1,200. Has a break of about a length and a half on Intelligent. Jabali is working up uh, into about fourth last position and going up rather quickly now is Spillway. Not far away, my Grenadier. And over on the inside, tracking the leader's foolish things from Simmering Simon and Jabali. Faith in Jack, Princess Gazelle, and three or four lengths frivolity. They come to the side and 800 marker. Boldolero about a length on spillway wider out intelligent third foolish things is fourth simmering simon next and wider out is my grenadier followed by faith in jack and then comes jabali princess gazelle and four or five lengths for a volley as they come along past the 600 500 to go now and the free going boldolero more than a length on spillway hard ridden by die foolish things on spillways inside a length the simmering simon followed by intelligent faith in jack and frivolity still back last as they flatten for the run of the one and Baldolero. Three quarters of a length on Foolish Things and about four lengths to Simmering Simon. Foolish Things, the only danger to Baldolero. Three to Simmering Simon. Foolish Things runs to Baldolero and the two of them fighting it out with Foolish Things gaining the upper hand from Baldolero and Simmering Simon. Foolish Things in front and will win it about a long neck. Foolish Things has beaten Baldolero and Simmering Simon. Princess Gazelle, Jabali, Frivolity, Faith in Jack, Spillway, My Grenadier and Intelligent has run Stone Motherless. Number nine, Foolish Things to return $20.60 and $3.80. Five Bold Alero, $2.10, one Simmering Simon, one sixty. Foolish Things, Dan Beasley. About $18 upwards. $18.10 a win, $3.80 a place. After a short struggle, got the better of Bold Alero, number five. And the dividend for it is $2.30. 
and one simmering Simon has paid 150. 951, 8650 Quinella, 20360 Exacta, 68230 the Trifecta. Foolish Things number nine, written by Danny Beasley for trainer Max Lees from Newcastle, owned by the uh, Lewis and Lewis Miller families, B and Mrs. T and Miss S. Lewis and Mrs. M. Lewis Miller, by Success Express from Frivolous, a three year old bay gelding, beating number nine, a uh, beating number uh, five. Boulder Lero by Snardi, trained here by Gerald Ryan, Brad Stewart. And number one, Simmering Simon by Simonstad, trained at Newcastle by Paul Perry, Len Beasley. Fourth went to number 10. The time was 121.48, and the sectional run was 35.93. So, it was... Two with final mist inside it. Delirious behind those and further out, Glamoremus working up towards the front. Then just behind it is Angel's Jewel and pick up line last of all. Small field, but they spread across the track over on the inside. Final miss, Joshua's Pride. Glamoremus quickly strides up on the outside to head them off now. A length and a half, Delirious outside at Angel's Jewel and pick up line moving to the outside. Glamoremus takes over now as they come onto the course proper, 550 metres to go. Nearly a length in front of final mist and then came Joshua's Pride. Two further back in the race, Delirious Angels, Jewel and pick-up line. Glamoremus three off the fence at the 300 metre mark, led by a length and a half to Joshua's Pride under pressure. Two further back than Angels, Jewel from pick-up line. He pulls a whip on Glamoremus. He's a length in front of Angels, Jewel, pick-up line and Joshua's Pride. Oh, he's a strong animal, this fellow. He's still nicely clear, Glamoremus, and he's too good. Glamoremus down to the line, wins a length and a half. Second home is Angels, Jewel. The nose third is pick-up line. Then Joshua's Pride fourth, a gap in the race to the last two final missed and delirious. Winner one, Lamarimus, 370 the win, two dollars to play, six angels jewel, three dollars, no third three pick up line. Back to the market. Okay, number one there, Glamoremus on the super tab in that uh, Melbourne event. The third, number one, Glamoremus to return, 361 86. Angels jewel, three dollars ten, and a three pick up line, no third dividend. It's coming up to 20 minutes past one. This is Triple S, the Good Sports, Saturday afternoon racing. 163 official there at Flemington. Now, uh, Sydney, we'll start from the top again, race number four. They're off. Miss Kent from the outside jumped out quickly, but grand performance will hit her, then Chiming Lass and Sally Magic, followed by Ginger Spark. Love to know her next on the inside, in search, wider out, and then Sue Seeker, Brianna and Saran, followed by Fashion File, who's getting all out of its ground. The same for Di Jobo, and Heather is stone motherless. The leader is the heavily backed grand performance, and down past the 700, she's a length on Miss Kent. Third, Posse, Sally Magic, fourth, Chiming Lass. Wider out is in search, and then a gap to Love to know her on the inside of Ginger Spark, and Briannon, then a gap to Sue Seeker and Fashion File, Di Jobo, Heather and Saran brings up the rear. 500 left to run. Grand Performance increasing her lead. Two lengths now Sally Magic and Miss Kent the outside. Chiming Lass is fourth and in search is next from Love to Noah. Heather is back last as they straighten up and Di Jobo second last. Hugh Bowman sitting quietly on Grand Performance. Now he shakes up the Newcastle filly. She's two lengths on Miss Kent, followed by Sally Magic, Love to Noah, Chiming Lass at the 150 and Grand performance a mile in front. Grand performance giving them a galloping exhibition. She's four, Miss Kent, Love to Noah. Great win, Grand Performance. Grand performance beat Miss Kent and Love to Noah, then Heather, followed by Sue Seeker, Saran, Briannon, and then came insert Sally Magic, Chiming Lass, Di Jobo, and the last two in were Ginger Spark in company with Fashion File. She ran them ragged. Five grand performance on the super tab. $4.50 and $1.90, 6 Miss Kent, three thirty. Fourteen. Love to Noah, four ninety. Here he won the uh, first on Runs on Dreams for his master, Ronnie Quinton. He won the uh, previous for Maxie Lees, and Max, of course, training foolish things who won the third. And incidentally, that's uh, Hugh Bowman's 99 and a half win in New South Wales, in New South Wales for the season. He's had a bottler, and uh, as far as the... Uh, Sydney wins are concerned. Having a look at the statistics before we check the totes here, Hugh has ridden uh, 47 and a half metropolitan winners, 43 provincial, nine in the country, to make his tally 99 and a half. 
very, very polished young jockey. As the numbers flash up here, five grand performance first has paid $4.50 for the win and $1.80 for the place. Second goes to number six, and that's Miss Kent, written by Brad Stewart, has paid $3. And number 14 is third, and that is Love to Noah, written by Shane Dye, has paid $5.30. Now, number two ran fourth, that was Heather. Number 12 was fifth, Sue Seeker. And number 11 ran sixth, and that was Saran. Five, six, 14, two, 12, and 11. The uh, exotic details, Quinella, 1880, exacta, $30.90. The trifecta is coming up at $812.90. If you've struck the extra double of nine into five, the Max Lees trained Foolish Things and Grand Performance at $98.80. Grand Performance is by Palace Music from Bourgeois, a three-year-old chestnut filly. She's only had the nine starts for four wins a second and two-thirds. She's a professional racehorse and uh, scored with consummate ease here in 111.55 and the last 634.99. And on the inside, one of the best to jump away. Uh, going fast on the inside of him is Urasino and Milamai. It's showing speed today, just behind the Mr. Lightfoot and further out here, Stacey Jones. First of them coming up with Jarl and Defence Force, who got tightened up. They got a little uh, bunch there at that first flight, and going around them, Stacey Jones just led from built him. They're followed by King Lap and Jarl, and then further back, Urasino. Defence Force up running six as they go to the second. They're followed the inside by Mr. Lightfoot, Mel my drop back there from Extra Jovial. Then Preludes brush with Fame and back towards the tail is Vermont with Pass Master over the third. On the back on the first occasion now and the leader is Kinglap taking it up. Kinglap moving a length and a half in front from Stacey Jones and two lengths further back in the race then uh, came Defence Force and with it is Malamai as they slow up in front and Jarl's going forward in the middle. They're bunching up a little. Two lengths to build him followed by Mr Lightfoot a length and a half brush with Fame. Urasino on the inside of Extra Jovial. Vermont has settled down fairly well for the rider back third last. Second last in the race is Preludes and two to pass master. Coming up to the top turn now and they've got about, uh, let's have a look 3,000 metres to go as they come around the top circle and Defence Force has gone up outside King Lap. A length and a half Stacey Jones third on the outside there. I've built him on the rail. Jarl is seeing daylight but out three deep. Further back Mr Lightfoot. You're a Sino, the inside from Extra Jovial. Then Bellamy. Further back was Preludes. Brush with fame. Vermont and last of all pass master. First to three down the straight. King Lap has handled it well. He's a length and a half defence force and build him on the inside. And out a little wider is Jarl still outside Stacey Jones as they come to the next. King Lap hopped over it in front uh, from Stacey Jones followed by Jarl and defence force has got him behind them. They're still bunched and Jarl is pulling its way up towards the front. King Lap coming to the third down the lane in the uh, course here and King Lap and Stacey Jones together. Oh, Urasino has crashed. Urasino has crashed and Preludes was hampered and going by the judge seven flights to go in the national 2200 out brush with fame's gone forward and brush with fame has now taken it up from king lap and stacy jones two lengths further back jarl it's fourth on the outside of built in fifth a length and a half defense force extra jovial then mr lightfoot a length and a half miller my from vermont three lengths past master and preludes up the riverside they go here's the next one over the one at the 1800 brush with fame stacy jones and king lap holds his ground gets up on the inside but again brush with fame nearly a length in front now of the 1800 from Stacey Jones and King Lap. Jarl has gone forward now up running fourth from built him. Further back was Mr Lightfoot defence force out three deep. In on the rail extra jovial a length in Vermont followed by Millamai then Preludes and Pass Master last of all. 1550 metres to go and it's brush with fame the leader in the national comes to the next flight got over two and a half in front of Stacey Jones and King Lap is right there saving ground. A length and a half to Jarl hasn't had much luck getting on the track. He's still wide he's gone up fourth outside built him defense force has gone four to six followed by mr lightfoot on the inside extra jovial followed by vermont two to preludes a length and a half past master and melamai dropped out to the tail at chiquita lodge along the back the next one coming up and the leader here brush with fame landed two lengths in front of stacy jones king lap is ahead on the inside third two lengths to jail followed by built him they're followed by extra jovial defense force taken to the outside now he's starting to run into the race he's about three lengths off them 
further back than Mr. Lightfoot as they go to that one. He's crashed the leader. The leader's gone down there. Oh, uh, let's have a look. Brushworth Flame is down. Vermont has been uh, brought down also. Uh, a number of uh, horses down out of the race there. Coming up towards the turn and the National Defence Force has gone up to Kinglap. Extra jovial third with two fences to go and on the outside here it's uh, Defence Force. Kinglap fighting back on the fence. A length and a half extra jovial. Four then to build him and further back Jarl. In the straight Kinglap comes again. Two flights to go in the National. Gets a neck in front of on the outside Defence Force. They're over the second last he's coming back again defense force two to extra jovial one hurdle to go in the national defense force and king lap they're locked together over the last they go they jump it together king lap the inside coming at him again defense force three to extra jovial king lap and defense force defense force has got his nose in front of the national king lap fighting on but defense force four just clear and defense force has won the national wins at three quarters king lap two away third extra jovial then built him a long gap then to Preludes, followed by Jal, just coming in Milamai. And a bad fall up here at the, uh, let's have a look, third last flight. To go down was Brush with Fame. Over the top of him has gone Stacy Jones and also Vermont. So a bad fall there, but the winner is the favourite Defence Force. To pay $261.40, three Kinlap, three thirty, seven extra jovial, $12.20. For Defence Force on the Super Tab, 241.50, number three, King Lap at $2.60 and seven for third extra jovial, $14.80. Correct weight at the Gold Coast on the previous there as we take a look at the update for race number four in Brisbane today. The fourth on the program out of uh, Ipswich goes at 208. One, Yoruba, 241.30 in favour, two, I can't believe it, 16.430, three, Seafall, 5.50, four, Relenza Road, 10 and 2.70, five, Stormy Lodge, 30 and 7. Six Macon Tracks, 23 and 5. Seven, The Almighty One, 11 and 4. 30, 8 Fair Degree, 15 and 4. Nine, Horowitz, 30 and 7. 10, Gangster, 43, 10. 11, He's a Treasure, 25, 5. 12, Keep Rising, 64, 14. 13, Splendid Missile, 25 and 5. 14, Pepin Bay, 35 and 7. 15, Cosmic Comet, 49 and 9. And 16, Jogarama, 140 and 26 with 17 out. 50,000 in the pool there. And the selections for race number four on the program at Ipswich from Wayne Wilson are one from eight and three. Now, more openers. We look to the Gold Coast race number five. The Windy conditions. They have a headwind in the start. And the gates are back. Cajun Jester jump fairly. Motiti Road surprisingly showing speed. Stuntman away fast. Born free going quickly from Kalamba Galita Boy. And Cajun Jester beaten for speed. He's back on the inside settling in about sixth position. Two lengths away Zantra Golden Comet. And our Canadian the last one. Born free taken on by Stuntman who pulled his way to the front. Kalamba third. Motiti Road fourth but he's wide. Cajun Jester stuck in traffic on the fence. They were followed by Galima Boy. Golden Comet out five wide starting a runner around Zantra and two links to our Canadian. Stuntman given his head before the bend for Marshall, led by two links on Born Free. Kalamba close up in third and wide out on the track Matiti Road. Two links Zantra on the improved. Golden Comet outside of it. Cajun Jester with work to do from our Canadian. And last of all is Galima Boy in the straight. Stuntman headed off by Kalamba in turn, grabbed by Matiti Road. Two links away Zantra wanting to duck in and then came Born Free. Motiti Road in front of Kalamba and Stuntman not going straight Zantra for the time being. 150 to go. It's Kalamba coming back at Matiti Road and Stuntman's got a kick. Matiti Road, Stuntman, Kalamba. Matiti Road just in front of Stuntman. Matiti Road wanted a nose. Matiti Road, I think, a nose to Stuntman and Kalamba in a terrific struggle. Then came Zantra, Born Free, Cajun Jester. They were followed by Galima Boy, Golden Comet, and last of all was our Canadian. Terrific finish with Matiti Road on the outside. In front, Stuntman, after being clearly headed by the other two at the 300 markers, come back fighting. And Kalamba, who just ran out of steam the last...